Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to solve this geometry problem from Universal Waterloo's Cayley Math Contest. This is question number 22 from year 2011. The question reads that the top section of an 8 cm by 6 cm rectangular sheet of paper is folded along a straight line so that when the top section lies flat on the bottom section, corner P lies on top of corner, corner R. What is the length of the crease? Well, before we start, I'd like to say three things. First of all, if you haven't already tried so, take a piece of paper and see what happens to the crease when you fold the paper, um, like indicated in the question. Second of all, regarding the background knowledge, uh, we simply require just the Pythagorean theorem and some algebra from grade nine and grade 10. And finally, um, it's just my personal take on the approaches to geometry problems. It is one of the hardest problems to solve because there isn't really one fixed way to approach it. And I personally struggle with it a lot, even until today, because it's highly case dependent. I guess the main idea is that you, tr you take a complicated shape right, or the measurement and you try to split it or cut it uh, using assisting lines into something you're, you recognize or something you're given. The method I'm going to show you today is just the, the most intuitive method to me, and it's definitely not the only way, or may not even be the best way to go about it. However, I just hope that it's um, it's useful to you. So let's get started. Um, take this um, take this sheet of paper. If you fold it, if you try to fold it, you'll see how the crease looks something like this. Right. It's almost a diagonal. And um, what you'll see is that it. Because it kind of mirrors a diagonal, it will split the shape into, a, into two equal pieces, right? The top and bottom are the, are the same, right? So let's observe this a bit, right? Looking at this crease, the first thing that came to my mind is that, okay, this looks like the hypotenuse of some right triangle, right? So if I cut it right here, right? Finish up. If I cut it right here, I'll see, you see that this will be a right angle, right? And actually, I already know this side. This side is 6, right? Because it's simply the width of this sheet of paper. And if uh, I call this crease, the, the length of this crease x, right? I simply need to find out what's the length of this side, and then use the Pythagorean theorem to do this square plus this square would give me x square, right? So I've basically transformed the problem into, okay, can I find the length of this side, right? From here to here, right? Okay. Another thing I would quickly recognize is that, okay, if I want to find this length, I realize it's actually the whole eight centimeter side, but subtracted two parts, right? First is this part, and second is this part, right? And because of symmetry of diagonals, right? I know that these two pieces, look at here and here, they're the same. So let's say if I, if I were to call this A, this would also be A, right? Therefore, I know that the length of this, of this, um, of this side is simply 8 minus 2A, right? This is my first, that's my first piece of information. Then coupled with my um, information right here, plus six square, right? This should give me x squared, right? So I've transformed my problem again into finding the value of a, because if I can find the value of a, I can find the answer to this expression, right? And finding the answer to this expression would, and coupled with the six square would allow me to find x squared, which would in turn give me x. Okay, so can I find a? So remember, this, because it's symmetric, right? So it makes sense to just analyze the bottom to find the A. So another thing I recognize that is that this A actually um, has to do with the with this 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 piece of the uh, length right here, right? So when you fold it, you will see that from this section to this section, look at the red part, right? is actually folded along here, right? Remember, remember, this is A as well, right? This is also A, 
right? So this is basic. So this length, this diagonal right here, the red diagonal is simply 8 minus 1a, right? Because this length is 8 minus the whole piece, whole length minus 1a, right? Okay, so looking at this, right? I see that I have three, the, all three sides, an expression for all three sides of, the, uh, of a right angle triangle. Remember, this must also be a right angle. Right? So I can I have one equation. I have one unknown. Remember, this a is the same as that a. So I can find a unique value of a. Right? So let's try to do this. I know that by Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse one squared, when you square the hypotenuse, it is equal to the sum of the squares of the two short length, two short lengths, which are a squared and six squared. Right. So let's start solving this. So 8 minus a square, if you remember the perfect square expansion, this should give you 8 square minus 2 times 8 times a pl um, plus a square. Right. Then this side you'll have an a square plus 6 square. Right. Right off the bat, you can cross off this annoying a square term, right? So therefore, all you're left with is 8 square minus 16a is equal to 6 square. And rearranging this would give you, so let's move um, 16a to the other side, right? And this is 64 minus 36, right? Right? I move this to the other side. So this would give you 28 is equal to 16a, right? And therefore, a is equal to 28 over 16, which is equal to 7 over 4. That's the first step, finding a. Finding a means that we have completed 95% of the work. Because the next step is simply to plug in a, plug a into this expression, and you will get the answer of x squared, right? So let's plug this in. This will give you 8 minus 2 times 7 over 4, right? There's a multiplication sign, time, to the power of 2 plus 6 squared is equal to x squared, right? And if you evaluate this expression, um, with the help of a calculator, of course, this would give you a 56.25 is equal to x squared, and x would be plus or minus 7.5. And of course, since we're talking about um, the length, right, we can only take the positive value. Therefore, x is equal to positive 7.5.